Hello, my name is Anka um, and I'm a per part of a free school class today that's happening in Neville Proctor Library, uh, which is a Marxist library. And the library is hosting a Black Liberation class today, uh, which is one of the series of the classes um, on Black Liberation history, as the name uh, explains. So basically, let me talk a little bit about the free school. Uh, free school. Uh, is, as its name says, a school that's free, that's open to the public, kind of like a skill share. Basically, um, whoever has a skill or knowledge that wants to share um, can come in and preach at least free, uh, free class. Uh, so basically, um, two ideas. I mean, school shouldn't be paid for as it usually is in this country. Uh, education should be free. And uh, so that's the first problem of the education that you have to pay for. If you pay for education, you're immediately becoming a customer, not a student, right? Um, second of all, um, education, you know, we're having a history class right now here. And I'm from Poland. I was raised in communist Poland, then went to school in capitalism, Pol capitalist Poland. <laughs> And then went to school in US and wherever you go to a history class, depending on the system, depending on the country, it's quite different history that they're teaching here. Uh, so, you know, if you read a history book in US and they talk a lot about, you know, how different generals, different wars and, and then the Hiroshima happened and it, they just put it in one sentence and that's the end of the chapter and nothing else. Uh, so basically, uh, free school is the history of the oppressed people, the history as it really happened. We're watching a movie on slavery right now. Uh, a woman who uh, found out that the wealth of her family is coming from the slave trade, uh, which was always something that the family had in their mind but not, never really talked about it. They were wealthy, they were proud of it, they were proud of all the stuff that they've done but, you know, they got it all because they were trading slaves. So they're pretty much revisiting um, the past, the place that they came from. Uh, and um, she gathered family members to, to do it, which out of like 200, only several uh, came. Uh, anyway, mm, it's just the history that uh, the school, uh, university history doesn't talk about. Um, the history of people who didn't write the history because they were not allowed to do it. Since most of the history is wrote, right, uh, written by white old men. Racism still is very well rooted in the society and, um, you know, simple thing is such as work, how people are treated at work differently, uh, and, um, how people are paid differently depending on what race they are, how, uh, how people are treated in general, and so it's something that it's not being talked about because supposedly we have this e equality, but it's not. Mm, that's not true. Um, so you know, people are still paid less because they are Latinos or uh, they are immigrants, mm, and you know, it's mm, it's not really an immigrant issue. It's mostly a, a racial issue that. Uh, one example, uh, when I came to the States, I started working in a car washing place um, in Chicago uh, where Polish people would get paid 50 cents more than, uh, than Latinos. And, you know, it was something that everybody knew about. It was something that nobody wanted to talk about. You would get your check and you were not supposed to show it to anybody. And when I started showing it to people, like, hey, save something, you have, you know, we're doing the same kind of work and you're getting paid less, and people were afraid to get fired and they wouldn't, wouldn't complain. So, you know, as simple as that, it's, racism is prevalent, you know, in Arizona, racial profiling right now, they, um, they're pretty much spot people who look brown and, 
and they try they try to put it in into a new law into a law that uh, you know they can cart everybody on a suspicion uh, SB 1070 on a suspicion that they don't have paper and how do you get this suspicion just by looking at people right so I mean the Klu Klux Klan couldn't have it better <laughs> It was the same for me when I was growing up. I heard of the dwarves as pirates, adventuring on the high seas. My great grandfather painted this mural with a whole sweep of Bristol's history, as if it was all a children's story. told me about our family being in the slave trade. At first I was totally shocked. But in the next instant, I realized I already knew about this past. It was right there, hidden in plain view. Did I ask too much? More than a lie. Don't all jump up here one time. Come on, let's just work our way around to what you think. We're one, but we're not the same. Where we were. Huh? The intents of the family are trying to do that to go back and then feel able to stick with me Who 